human geography kiddos <coughs> excuse me so I'm just going to go over expectations for you all. Um, I did expectations for American history and human geography um, on the same page because you all have the same expectations. And um, instead of going over slides today, this is what I'm going to do. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about the assignment that I've got loaded for you in Schoology. All right. Um, so I know that you all know that I have a co-teacher for American history. So that's why Ms. Jenkins' name is on here as well. Um, all right. Just so you know, all materials are going to be in Schoology, just like it was in my classroom, and everything will be posted by 8.30 a.m. every day. Um, I am available to answer all of your questions, so starting today, um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I am available from 8.15 to 11.30, and then again from 1.15 to 4. That time in between those times are... Um, is my prep and lunch time, and I will not be answering emails. Um, so don't expect to get an immediate response if you do email me during those time periods. Um, assignments are designed, so they take 20 to 30 minutes to complete each day. Um, sometimes they'll take a little longer. Sometimes they'll take less time than that. So you know how that kind of works. It works the same way in the classroom as it does, um, it does here. Sometimes things take a little longer, you've got some free time. Sometimes they take a little bit less time, or, or I'm sorry, a little bit longer, and you don't have free time, okay? It's going to be the same way here. I'm trying to keep things as normal um, and as, um, as kind of the same way as I used to do it so that you have a little bit of normalcy um, in this crazy, crazy time period right now, all right? Um, this is real school. It's going to look different but it's real. Your grades are going on your transcript. They count for your GPA. If you fail this class, you're retaking it and you have an F on your transcript and it's going to ruin your GPA. So the same rules apply. You need to do your work. You need to ask questions. If you have a question, you need to not screw around and goof around, okay? Um, this GPA matters because it, colleges are gonna look at your GPA. Right? And if you fail the class, you have to make it up. You're going to be in summer school taking awful sit-on-your-butt computer classes. Um, you think online classes are fun. Yeah, they're fun this way, but they're not fun the way that you have to, when you have to make them up. All right? Um, so you need to log into Schoology every day to complete your assignment every day. Okay, just like you did when you were in my class, when you're sitting in a seat in my class. Um, you're going to complete your, your assignment in order. Each lesson builds on the previous lesson. It's probably best if you do that. Okay, I'm not going to put the lessons in all at once. I'll put them in one day at a time. It's best that you do them one day at a time, even though they're all due on the same day. Okay, they're all going to be due Wednesdays at 11.59 p.m. It's best that you do them when I assign them, okay, because it will make sense that way, all right? That doesn't mean that assessments are going to be due on Wednesdays at 11.59. The assessment's probably going to be due the day that I give it, all right? Um, so let you know that, all right? So when I say it's an assessment, that means it's your test. That's how we're measuring what you've learned for the unit. It means that you have to get it done, okay? Um, the other thing, Thing. Okay, no, I think that's that's it for this one. Okay, grading. Um, third quarter assignments are done. We're done. Third quarter is is in the rear view window, and we're moving on. Okay, um, but grades for both third and fourth quarter are still calculated based on overall points because that's how I do things. And your final semester grade is still an average between those two grades. Okay. So if your third quarter grade was not something that you are super proud of, then you need to work very, very hard so your fourth quarter grade is so that your final grade ends up being something that you're very, very proud of. All right. And I will try to get your weekly grades updated on Wednesdays by 11.59 p.m., about one week behind your assignment due dates. Okay. So um, the grading will be about a week behind um, the current week's assignments. Um, but I'll try to keep them updated as, as um, updated as possible. All right. So in order to have a good internet connection from home, make sure that your device is charged.
turn off all your other Wi-Fi enabled devices, your cell phone, your tablet, while you're working. Don't use media, Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, streaming, because they use the bandwidth and limit Schoology. So you shouldn't be streaming stuff while you're trying to do your work. Okay, plus it's also good to not be streaming that stuff while you're trying to do your work because that's a very bad distraction. The other thing is, is remember on Friday when I was telling you all about attendance and attendance quizzes and all that stuff? Now they're doing something completely different and I am not responsible for attendance anymore. So you will be logging in and completing an attendance through the district now um, on Schoology. There is an attendance um, an attendance uh, course on Schoology or a folder um, that you will be logging into um, and the office will be taking attendance for um, uh, for the teachers. So um, you will not have attendance quizzes any longer for us. So if you like those, I'm sorry. All right, so if you need any help, contact me, okay? That's what I'm here for. You have my email. If you want a video conference, you can click on this link and you can set yourself up one and then we can have actually a face-to-face -face conference, okay? It's going to be very, very different. Um, it's going to be weird. It's going to be odd. It's going to be something that you're going to tell your kids and grandkids about, um, but we're going to do this and it's going to be, we're going to make it through and life will go on, okay? will be different, but it will go on, all right? Just make sure that you're staying safe and healthy and that you're not doing, you know, risky things like going out and hanging out with people that you shouldn't be hanging out with um, because that's what a quarantine is. It means staying inside. All right. Um, the thing that I wanted to show you today really quickly was I put this, um, this new... Um, folder in called e-learning political geography and your first assignment that will be loaded loaded in is called board boundaries and borders introduction and this is one of those cases where it's going to be um, kind of a shorter one you're going to watch um, a video and it's on YouTube so you can go ahead and load it up and I have to approve it don't know why it's not very long Okay, and then um, you can work on this sheet here just to kind of get you thinking about boundaries and borders because obviously that is something that matters today. And then you can go ahead and turn it in here and that is what you're working on tomorrow. Okay, so probably about 10 minutes worth of work. So it won't even be the full 20 minutes. All right, any questions? Okay, I will talk to you later. Have a good afternoon. Bye.